Greg Udelhoven, ForeConstructionPros.com. I'm here at uh, Con Expo 2017 talking with Scott Thomas. He's the uh, product application specialist for articulated trucks. And we're here in front of the, uh, the new 745, which replaces the 745C. And there's some really interesting features about this. It has a much narrower footprint. So again, it, it's, it's, it's easier to transport and there's easier accessibilities to some working areas. But tell us a little bit about, I know one thing that I'm really impressed with are some of the features for the operators. Again, operators are spending 8, 10, 12 hours a day in this truck. They want to be productive. And I know you guys have really gone out of your way to include some features for the operator. Well, that's a great question, Greg. You know, an operator uh, can have a significant impact on profit and productivity just based on his comfort level and his, and his skill. So with those two factors in mind, we wanted to make sure that we could make some of those um, tasks that he had to do on a daily basis a lot simpler. So for example, the, the transmission hoist lever, uh, we've now combined that so that to put the truck in gear and to uh, raise and lower the bed or eject the bed on the ejector trucks, uh, that's all done with a fingertip con control of, of the right hand. So the operator doesn't have to take his hand off of the shift cane, over to the hoist lever, back to the shift cane, back to the hoist lever. Uh, all he has to do is, is move his finger. And we've got an assisted system on there now to where if you've got assist on in the cab, if you're going below four miles an hour and you pull your finger past detent, the truck will come to a stop, so the brakes will apply. The transmission will go to neutral. The weight brake will come on. The engine will elevate to 100% and the bed will raise and all you did was turn the light switch on. But before you even get into the cab here, I mean the operator can, can turn on some safety lights Absolutely. and, and actually activate uh, the inside of the cab, turn on all of the, uh, the, the functions inside the cab. Talk a little bit yes. about that. Good. So on the other side of the machine, um, the access panel where the master switch is, that operator can now, if it's dark when he gets to the job site in the morning, mm -hmm. or if it's dark when, uh, when, it's, when he's getting ready to get out, he can access that panel, turn on the switch to turn on the access light, which we've got one on this side as well, and he can light up the steps that he has to walk up. So that makes a lot safer operation for that uh, operator to crawl up the machine. And what we've also done is we've, we will then wake up the truck. And, and once you are inside the cab, I mean the visibility, Again, and how did you achieve improved visibility in the cab? Visibility uh, was achieved, you know, we wanted to go after those operators that uh, felt a little uneasy when they're driving this machine. A lot of times this is an entry level machine uh, and, and by not having the ability to see both sides of you when you're turning, when you're backing up, and these trucks do a lot of backing, Greg. Mm -hmm. So when you're backing up to the, to the pile to dump, if you can't see out what's behind you and then the, the backup camera might happen to be dirty, right. uh, now we've given those operators the ability to look over their left shoulder and their right shoulder. So we've eliminated the corner post in the right rear and the left rear by using an exoskeletal design uh, FOPS and ROPS cab. Great. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks, Scott. Thank you.